Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be giving you guys an inside look into what my Whatnot streams look like. For those of you who don't know, I am streaming a lot on Whatnot nowadays. Uh, that's where I usually sell my trading cards, so this stuff that you guys see right here. Uh, right now I have Naruto packs, I have some Kaguya Waste Schwartz boxes, I also have some Naruto boxes that I sell on Whatnot. Uh, but before we get into that, let me just explain what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you guys what it's like on my streams. And then I'm actually, I just got in a package of Naruto Kayu boxes in and take a look at the condition of these boxes right here. Oh my God, these things came in destroyed. Like, oh my God, what were they doing with these boxes? But that's one of them. This is the most damaged one. So I will be opening this box up for myself uh, just to show you guys that even though the box is damaged, the cards inside are just fine. So I'll go ahead and open this box and like i said i did get two boxes so this was the second box this one came in okay con okay-ish conditions well at least a lot better than the other one so these are going to be the boxes uh, the packs that i will be selling on my whatnot stream on my next stream so uh, these are tier four packs if you guys did see my last naruto kayu video uh, you guys would know that the tier four were definitely one of the better boxes to get when you're starting off because uh, you'll get a bunch of great hits on here which feels nice when you get those hits uh, the other boxes are more for completing sets uh, they do only have specific cards in some of those lower tiered boxes so yeah for today uh, let's go ahead and open one of these naruto tier four and I believe this is, actually I just checked, and it is in fact Wave 2. Uh, for Wave 3, you're going to want to look for these. These are the Naruto and Killer B boxes. The Naruto and Sox Sasuke boxes are Wave 2. Uh, so the, the Killer B ones are newer, but I'm going to open up one of these to show you guys that the, the box that's damaged has no influence on the cards that you're going to be getting. So let's go ahead and first talk about my whatnot stream. So here's what I do with my whatnots. You guys see that I have a bunch of packs right here. I have individual packs for each tier of Naruto Kayu packs. Uh, so this is tier two right here, the lowest tier that I do sell individually. Those packs go for $2. Tier three packs go for $4. Tier two and a half packs, which is what I call them. Some people also call these the clouds packs just because there are, there's some clouds on the packs. So these go for three bucks. And then this empty spot right here will be for the, the new tier four packs that I will be adding there for the next stream. Tier four packs go for $5 per pack. Uh, so that's it for Naruto. I do sell tier one boxes as well. I have about uh, five more of these left. These are tier one. So you get a bunch of packs, you get 35 packs and you do get some um, exclusive hits with these tier one boxes. So these, I do sell them in the buy it now. So in whatnot, there's different sections. You can either auction cards out or you can go directly into a buy it now tab and you can buy these directly from me without having to worry about auctioning and competing with other people. I do sell these in the buy it now for $25 for a box, which is crazy. You're getting 20, you're getting 35 packs for 25 bucks, which I think is a steal if you are not wanting to wait and do all of that stuff with uh, buying these from AliExpress, which the wait times can be a bit. So if you want your cards a bit quicker, I'd say that's a good price right there. I just wanted to give you guys a little insight as to what I do on my Whatnot stream. For those of you who haven't checked it out, I personally really like Whatnot. Like I said, I've been having a lot of fun. I stream on there at least two to three times per week. So if you are at all interested in these packs and you want to support the channel, definitely check out those Whatnot streams. And with that said, now let's go ahead and get into this super torn up box and let's see what cards we pull out of them all right so here's the box this is the one that was more damaged so let's open it up by the way i am cheating i actually opened one of these on like after the stream that i had today um, i opened one up so there are gonna be 17 packs instead of 18 so let's go ahead and count them we got one two three four five six seven eight nine And then on this side, we should have eight packs. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's go ahead and get this out of the screen because that is one ugly box right there. All right, and this time, you know what? Let's just go ahead and open up all these packs on video. So let's go ahead and get started. We got an SSR Kiba right there and then the HR Naruto. By the way, in each one of these packs for the tier four, 
you're always gonna be getting an HR, which is these nice uh, lenticular effect cards. I personally do really enjoy them. Pack number two, we got, ooh, we got an AR Obito, but that is a duplicate for me. So what I do with my duplicates, I put them in a sleeve. And then I set them aside over here and these cards are all available to trade on my whatnot stream. So if you guys are looking for any of these, uh, they're up for trade. Whoa, I caught that. They're up for trade on my whatnot streams. So let me show you guys what I have for trade right as of right now. I have a bunch of ARs. I have an OR Vedra. I have an OR Sasuke, which this is one of my favorite cards in the game right now. I freaking love this card. So uh, it is a duplicate for me. So I do have that one up for trades. I have an OR Obito and then a GP Killer B, which these again are exclusive to the tier one boxes. So I'm not collecting these. I know some people do. So if you're looking for these GPs, Hit me up on my whatnot streams. If you buy something and I need it, I would, be, I would be down to trade any one of these cards for them. I also have a set of SSR cards that I, I also have for trades on my whatnot stream. So these are all of my duplicates that I do trade on there. But let's go ahead and continue with the packs. Ooh, you are third Hokage. I'm pretty sure I'm missing that one. So let's go ahead and put him there. Next up. SSR Sasuke, that's a duplicate for me, so I'm gonna be putting him with my duplicate stack. And an HR Rock Lee. Ooh, another great card. This is another one of my favorites. I do actually have this one. I actually have this one displayed on my, uh, next to one of my statues. I freaking love this one. Uh, one day, maybe I'll show you guys around and see, show you guys which cards I do display next to my statues, but that's a duplicate, so that one's up for trade as well. And then here was the HR Vedra. Here we got an SSR Sakura. Actually, this one doesn't look familiar. I might need this one. I have to double check for that one. And then we got an HR Shikamaru. We got an OR Kuranai. This card is, this is a beautiful card right here. I really do love this one. This is one, I, this is another duplicate for me. So this one will be sleeved up and it is up for trade on my streams. And here's the HR for that pack. We got an SSR Naruto, another duplicate for me. Man, this one's gonna be in, end up to be a bunch of duplicates, but for the HR, I love this one. This is a scene between, between Sasuke and Itachi. You get to see them when they're kids and then their final scene together. Beautiful card right there an SSR Sasuke, another duplicate. Wow, this is turning out to be a bunch of duds for me. We got an HR Gara. We got a UR uh, Conqueror. This is another hit, but I do already have this one. So another duplicate, unfortunately. That's fine. I get to get more cards for trade for you guys. And we got an HR Naruto. Super nice, I like this one. SSR Kabuto, another duplicate for me. And an HR Sasuke and Itachi. Ooh, finally, this is one that I do need. We got a UR of Naruto. This is UR number 32. I do definitely need this one. We're gonna go ahead and sleeve him up, but this time we're gonna put him in my stack. And the HR for this pack was, uh, here we got Sasuke and uh, Sakura, and then we got Sasuke, adult Sasuke and Sarada. Another beautiful card right there. We got an SSR Kakashi. Uh, I don't know if I have this one. SSR number 58, I need to double check. So for now, I'm gonna put him in my stack. And for HR, we have Sasuke. Didn't we already pull this one? We got a duplicate SSR in the same box. Uh, this is SSR number 52 with Naruto. And for the HR, we got Toby Rama right there. All right, by the way, this pack I did notice had a bit of damage on it. So let's see what the cards look like. 
And yeah, you know what? This one has had a little bit of damage on one card. You can kind of see it right there. But the other ones look pretty good to me. And we have a UR Obito. Look at this card right here. Beautiful Obito. This is another one that I'm not sure if I have it already. This is UR number 40. So I'm going to double check that here after this stream. But uh, the corner of this card uh, looks fine. I don't see any dings on this one like we did with that first card. So let me go ahead and sleeve them up. And we got HR Sasuke, which that one is another duplicate from this box. Two packs left, two packs. Let's see what we got. Overall, not a great box in my opinion, at least this one. We haven't even hit uh, an SP yet. And we got our first sort of bigger hit. We got an SLR Jiraiya Sensei, which this is perfect because I actually traded this off on one stream, uh, thinking that I wasn't gonna be collecting the SLRs, but they did start to grow on me and I do actually wanna start to collect these. So I'm glad that I was able to pull an SLR Kakashi for my collection. Uh, and for the HR, we got this uh, Naruto and Sasuke scene. So let me go ahead and sleeve this guy up. And last pack, hopefully we can pull an SP. We shall see, or at least an MR. We haven't even pulled an MR. Uh, so that would suck if we don't pull an MR. And we got another OR of uh, Shoji right here. This is another beautiful OR, but again, I already own this one. So that will be a duplicate for you guys, for me to trade with you guys on my whatnot streams. So yeah, overall, this is all of my bulk, my rares and super rares. I won't show that off to you guys, but over here I have what I would consider to be my hits. So I have separated them between the HRs and these are just your standard cards. So I got a UR Third Hokage, UR Sasuke, SLR Jiraiya, UR Obito, and then here's some SSRs that I need to double check if I don't already own these in my binder. For the HRs, here are all of my HRs. You can see right there, we got one duplicate. I believe we had more than one. No, yeah, it was just one duplicate, just these two guys right there. But all right, let's go ahead and head over to my binder and let's add all of these cards to my binder. All right, guys, so here's my binder that I use for Naruto. It is the Vault X binder. Uh, this came recommended by Bam Collectibles. He's actually the one who got me into Naruto Kayu cards. So I decided to go with this binder and I love it so far. It's a little bit on the pricier side as far as binders go, but it's well worth it. Quality is very good. So let's go ahead and jump into it and let me show you guys my collection so far. And then we'll, we will be adding these cards that I just pulled, um, but we'll add them as I go ahead and show you what I have right now. So uh, these cards are all numbered. So the way that I have them set up in my binder is I have them in terms of rarity. I have the rarer cards up on front and then as we go through, I have the least rare cards in the back, which are the SSRs. And then I have a special card in the very back, which we will get to that when I get there. But let's go ahead and jump into the MRs. So all of the black spaces are gonna be cards that I'm missing. I'm just gonna flip through the pages and let you guys see all of the cards that I own. But as you guys will see, there will be a lot of black pages, uh, which means I just have a lot of cards missing. I still have quite a ways to go to complete my collection of these cards. So for the MRs, not many. These are actually, um, I have one full page where I'm missing MRs. So yeah, uh, MRs are the hardest cards to kind of pull uh, that aren't like your super rare BPs or CRs or stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this is the extent of my MR collection. Then we go into the CPs. I have four of those. Then we go into the SPs. Again, this was one that I wasn't originally gonna collect, but they grew on me and now I do wanna collect them. But unfortunately I did trade some of these out of my collection and now I'm looking to get them back. But for now, I got the third Hokage. I got Tsunade. I got Kakashi. I got Mei, I believe her name is. Shikamaru and missing a bunch of cards here. And we got one of the newer SPs. We got Gara there. I love these just because they do go out of the frame. So I love the fact that, uh, I don't know, just a little bit unique. They do look 
pretty nice in my opinion compared to the older SPs. Uh, then we get into the LRs, which these LRs, you can only get them by buying some, what they call boosters, I believe. Uh, so it, they come in each one of the boosters and with each booster, you do get like three or four exclusive packs, which also uh, has a higher potential of pulling one of the rarer cards. So I have bought in a few of them, so I will be getting more LRs in the future. But for now, I only have this one, which I actually got from BAM Collectibles on a giveaway, which is pretty cool. So now we get to the SLRs, which we can go ahead and place uh, Jiraiya in here. He is SLR number 23. So let's go through all of my SLRs. We got Kiba, Sarada, Boruto, Sasuke. Oh, and we're already in the 30s here. So Jiraiya is actually gonna go over here on this page. And if I count correctly here, he should be going right about right here. So let's go ahead and put Jiraiya in there. Really nice. So one thing I love about these binders is that you can actually fit in a card with the sleeves on them. I had an old binder before uh, where I couldn't fit my cards in there with sleeves. So I much prefer this uh, just to give my cards some extra protection. So let's go ahead and keep going. Next page, we got the SLR negatives, which are these SLR cards with the black background. So I got Sakura, we got Sasuke, uh, we got Kabuto. No, not Kabuto. Uh, uh, I forget his name all the time. Then we got Neji, Sasuke again, Sarada. And if you notice, these are actually the same as the original SLRs. They just have that black background. Uh, moving forward, the next rarity is the ARs. So, so if you guys want a full Akatsuki collection, uh, the only way to do that right now is by getting the ARs because I don't believe there is a pain um, in any other rarity. You can only get a pain through the ARs. So, I personally still don't have a full collection of the Akatsuki, as you can see. I only have these guys right here. Uh, then we got Deidara, Obito, Kaguya. Uh, then we got these guys right here. All of these. So for the ARs, I do have quite a bit, so I don't have too much more to go there to complete the set, but I still need a few more. Uh, now we're going into the ORs, which apart from the MRs, these might be my second favorite rarity. I just love the ORs, they're super nice. Unfortunately, I don't have any ORs to add to the collection today. Uh, but here's what I got so far. I'm just gonna flip through the pages so you guys can see what I got here because there's quite a bit of ORs. I will go ahead and point out some of my favorites, which this is a newer one that I just pulled, which is actually, no, it's not the last one, but look at that. Doesn't she look beautiful? I really like this one. So that Conan is one of my favorites, as well as this Shikamaru. I just love the black on gold there. And then I did already talk about my Sasuke one, which I kind of went past him, but I already showed you guys him earlier. That's my OR, uh, the one that's not a duplicate. That's my main OR there. But all right, after that, we're going into the URs, which I got a few to add there. So let's go ahead and see if I don't already have these cards right here. So first up, we got number 28. Let's go ahead and get to number 28 here. Uh, for the URs, these are actually my favorites. I'm trying to get all the Jinchuruki. Right now I have the one, two, three, five, and eight tails, but I am still missing the four, six, seven, and nine tails. Uh, so hopefully I can complete that set one day. Uh, where are we? 27, and this one is number 28, which is on the next page. And yes, I am missing this one. So I can go ahead and add him to my collection. Next up is number 32, Naruto, uh, which number 32 goes right before this Naruto. So I was also missing this one. So let's go ahead and slide him in there. And then the last one is UR number 40, uh, which I already saw and I do already have him. So this is a duplicate. This one will go up for trade on my whatnot streams. So that's it for the URs. Uh, now we have a few SSRs and I need to double check. Let's just go ahead and flip through all of my URs here. So this is my last UR. Uh, then we go into the ZRs, which the ZRs, these are exclusive to the new tier two packs. They're the yellow tier two packs. Um, I personally didn't like these at first, but after collecting a few of them, 
I really like them. Gara being my favorite one, just because the color complements him the best. So what they do with these cards is they have their young version here in the front, and then they have their adult version in the back and all of the text and all of the background uh, images are a nice gold foil. So they look really cool. And I almost have the complete set. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of 12. So I'm only missing four more, which are these guys right here. Uh, so let's keep going. And now we are into the SSRs, uh, which for a card that's not like a high rarity, I really like them, which is why I decide to put them in this binder here. So the first SSR we need to check for is SSR number 46, then 47, and then 58. So let's go ahead and go over to, to the 40s. Meanwhile, you guys can check everything that I have here. And we do have number 46. We already have number 47. Uh, so last one to check here is number 58. And 58 is right there. So uh, all of these are duplicates for me. Unfortunately, this box was not very good for me. I didn't pull uh, many cards that I was missing, only those three that you guys saw me put in the binder. So uh, let's just go ahead and keep going. I'll show you guys the extent of my SSR collection, which I do have most of them. I almost have the SSRs complete, which I'm really proud of. Uh, I just do need a few more. So, uh, oh, actually I just pulled number 100 on my stream. So let me go grab that SSR. All right, here it is. We got Sasuke. He is the last SSR out of the new tier two box, but they just released a new tier three box, which will be adding some more SSRs. So that means I need to add some extra space into this binder for those new cards because um, I've run out. So I might need to put the SSRs in another binder uh, just to uh, separate them from my other higher rarity cards. So I might be doing that here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm gonna put them in here and that's the extent of all of my cards that I do try to collect all of. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, before I do go, I'm gonna flip the page and show you guys one of the special cards in this collection that I do own which I never thought I would own one, but in the end, we have my first BP. Uh, so we pulled this in a stream the other day and the guy who pulled it was very gracious uh, and he was willing to trade for me. I did have to trade him a 100 plus dollar card for this. It was from Wade Schwartz, but I do much prefer these Naruto cards over Wade Schwartz. So that was an easy trade for me, good trade for him. And I'm glad to have added a BP to my collection. So yeah. The other day we actually pulled a CR, which is also pretty hard to pull, but he was not willing to trade with me, unfortunately. So I don't have a CR in my collection as of yet, but this is one beautiful card right here. Just look at it. It's a BP. Uh, these cards are super rare and super hard to pull. So I'm glad to have at least one of these in my collection. Uh, we shall see if I can add any more, but uh, that's it guys. Uh, this is a binder update. I want to do a binder update in the future. Maybe anytime that I feel like I've made good progress with my collection, I'll come back and show you guys what I have so far. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun showing you guys all of the cards that I pulled and all of the cards in my collection as of now. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.